Hello and thank you for joining Pro Surf Blog today for this epic surf news update for October 2016. We drop into the week on October 2nd with some cool surf art that incorporates depth and color to spark your eyeballs. The artist that produces these works is Nathan Lettyard, and you can find much of his art on Instagram. And I got a new surfboard the next day, so I geared up with essential products from Fiberglass Source. If you haven't heard of them, it's a cool local source in San Diego. Check them out. They always have great customer service and they're super knowledgeable. Then on October 4th, Nikki Van Dyke shared her own surf check and whoa, France was firing. The month grinds on with WSL exploring training techniques on October 5th. We found out that Wilco has the moves. Well, he's still refining his boxing skills though. But keep it up, Wilco. Definitely putting him out of his comfort zone and uh, going to test him mentally and physically as well. Here we are, Wilco, we're in the high altitude room. We're at 3,300 metres, um, 14% oxygen in the room. And here's just your, your heart rate. So your heart rate's at 83, 78 now. If you're a bit nervous, that's 16% of your, your max heart rate. So we want to get that over up to 70% and then we can start working. We'll go first challenge just with an Ironman, Nathan Smith. He's um, com competed as a Nutrigrain Ironman for a lot of years. He's won Australian titles, so the first challenge is he, he's only known for five minutes and now he's going to do a run swim board against an Ironman, so we'll see how he goes. I was a former pro myself, had 29 pro fights. At one stage I was number five in the world in the WBO. But you see boxers that big around, they're always on their toes. That's better. Yeah. leg I've got more pressure than I've ever had but also an opportunity that I'm really excited about. A day later WSL takes the surf world behind the scenes in France. Enjoy the segment and cruise over to the WSL website to watch the full video. Making me serve better. You can do four rotations on anything, so. Good question. Where is my birds? Five two, yeah. Every word I know in French. Bonjour, bonsoir, bonne nuit, croissant, really? très belle. Uh, merci, bonjour, bonsoir. Où de vous coucher allez voir, c'est ça? Baguette, that's a French word. Merci. How are you? 
<laughs> That's it. <Okay>. Wine. <laughs> <laughs> but I tried to grow my French mustache, even though I can't grow one. You gotta zoom in on it. My favorite French word is... <laughs> yeah, it sums up my uh, thoughts about them running hard heat today. <laughs> I did a surf check on October 8th, since there was some swell in the water, and there was some offshore morning conditions. But, where are all the waves in Southern California today? So if I were you, I'd bring a bigger board today. And when I was leaving the beach, I came across this progressive shaped ground board. Looks like it was shaped in the 80s. It was for sale in front of a motorhome at the Oceanside Harbor for 40 bones. Speaking of boards for sale, I shared this pic of an insane surfboard shape by TC Surfboards in San Marcos, California. I definitely gotta get myself outside the box and try one of these designs. And in terms of waves, we should have followed Layla because she found the spot. Watch Layla commit to the lip in this little clip. Taking our focus to Florida where storms were brewing, we see coastal destruction. This pic is by Eastern Surf Magazine. And before the day ended, Pro Surf Blog warned people to look both ways before crossing the street. Check out this clip by This Day Sucks on Instagram. Moving on to October 10th, don't try this at home kids, was the warning that we issued after seeing this clip by Philippe Toledo. clip was a bit advanced for you can fly down to Texas to try the new wave park that Surfline shared with the world. Movies on the beach are a must. We wrap up October 10th with this breathtaking picture of Huntington Beach by Cy Shoot Photos. Pro Surf Blog opens up on October 11th with this under the lip action by WSL. Then Surfing News takes us back to Florida with more yeah, storm chaos. John John's Duck Dive. I think it's all in the core. Then I gave a heads up to SoCal surfers to join or spectate a local surfing competition in San Clemente. On October 12th, we said congrats to Tyler Wrights for winning the 2016 World Championship Tour. In support of her brother, she had her number changed to her brother's number, which is the number three. On the same day, Chris Moore won the 2016 Roxy Pro France. 
We also issued a congratulations to Keanu Singh for winning the Quicksilver Pro France. Check out what he had to say right here. Bruh, you heard his stories of venting small kind ways, bruh. No worries, cuz. Small kind guy like me shred him up real good, bruh. Woo! How you like my koalos born and raised Hawaiian style backside now, huh? <laughs> good, eh? Shoots, bruh. Then we catch Julian Wilson dropping in on his brada, but he makes up for it with a 360 air. On October 14th, Pro Surf Blog gave a heads up. The Halloween Wavestorm comp was set to run on a Saturday 29th. This great event is also a benefit to help out the Breddies family. So come down and have the time of your life and feel the positive vibes knowing that it's all going to a great cause. Okay, trick. Two days later, on the 16th, Carve Surfing Magazine reported on this alleged man-powered wave pool. Is this for real? Wow. time of year we have some decent surf in California this is a snapshot of this week's forecast for Southern California it has been double to triple overhead in Central and Northern California in the past number of days too did Surfline get hacked Twitter got hacked today but there have been many more casualties primarily DNS web servers that direct web traffic were compromised did hackers take over our beloved beach cams and if so what were they doing with them Eight. Well, the world kept turning, and the next day, Surf Art by Nathan caught our attention, and again, he created a dimensional surf art for Jamie O'Brien. Oh. 
On the same day, we headed down to Oceanside Harbor to capture some sweet surfing conditions. I'm calling it one to three foot, glassy offshore conditions. Really fun for a longboard and actually some shortboard action too. Just might need a little bit more foam today. The e border dropping in. Got a nice front side car, goofy foot. Gonna milk it in for the midsection. A little softy. Yeah, that guy's on his belly. Nice. <laughs> he rode that whole wave on his belly. know there is a dredging project taking place in Oceanside, California. This is done to help clear the channel for boats coming in and out of the harbor as well as offset rising sea levels that have been causing coastal erosion. This twofer project has run approximately five months over schedule according to KPBS. The city has been dredging sand from the harbor entrance to the areas south. Surely we'll be glad to see the dredgers stop. It has been sending heavy air pollution into the surfing areas south of the harbor entrance for months. And will surfing can be all fun and games, on October 24th, Magic Seaweed shared this pic of waves that were hitting Nazari in Portugal. The next day, WSL announced the winner of the 2016 World Tour season. John John Florence earned enough season points to win the 2016 World Championship Tour. The upcoming Pipe Masters contest will just be a victory lap this year. You can see the champ as a grom in this clip. I'm going to be a pro surfer. I'm going to try to be a pro skater too. I'm going to end the month with some good news from Kiala Kenley and the New York Times. For the first time in 17 years, women will compete in a top big wave surfing contest. So move over, dudes. Thanks again for joining us for this epic surf news update. 